Hey guys, Brody from Outperform Fitness here. I'm just pre-recording this video because I've got my niece's fourth birthday today and it's a beautiful day to be outside. So no matter what day or what time you're watching this, hope you're having a great day and really hope you enjoy this video. So if you see me just looking over here off to the side, it's just I've got a few notes written down to make sure I cover everything for you guys. So what this video is gonna cover today. So we're just gonna go through uh, energy systems so what energy systems the body has and utilizes, uh, which energy systems are dominant during a 2.4 or a beep test, and how to improve those tests by training uh, particular energy systems. Okay, so the energy systems that the body has. So it has three energy systems and all energy systems uh, work at once. So there's not one time that, neither, uh, that none of them are working. All of them work at once, it's just depending on the intensity and duration of the exercise, dictates which energy system is going to be dominant. So to go over these energy systems, the first one, I'm just gonna cover these really briefly because these are a massive subject in, a, in their own, and I'm just gonna go over them really briefly, and then the thing that you really need to worry about is how to train for them and how to improve your test. So the first one is your alactic or your ATP system. So this one is a very short-term energy system, and it lasts for about 10 to 15 seconds. It doesn't use oxygen to process this energy, uh, so it's fully anaerobic, and it takes around about two minutes to completely recover, uh, replenish your energy stores, and to rid the body of any uh, metabolic waste. So an example of this is a 100 meter all out sprint. All right, the next one is your lactic system, your lactic acid system. So this one, it is also a, sh a short-term system, but it lasts a little bit longer than your ATP system. Um, it's also anaerobic, and it doesn't use oxygen to process, uh, to process the, the energy. So this one lasts anywhere from when that f initial ATP system runs out up until around about the two to three minute mark. And this all depends on the intensity of the exercise, how well the person's trained, fueled, and all that. So this one to recover from, it can take uh, you know, 60 minutes or even more to completely rid the body of lactic acid and to replenish any uh, energy stores that were lost. So an example of this one is a 400 meter all out sprint. All right, the third and final one is your aerobic system. So this is a long-term energy system and it uses oxygen to uh, process that energy. So this one can last forever, just as long as there's enough fuel or uh, and there's enough oxygen to process that energy. So this one to recover from can take 12 to 48 hours. Again, it all depends on the intensity that you're working, how well the person's trained, how well they're fueled and all that good stuff. Okay, so with all that in mind, which energy system do you think is dominant during a 2.4 and a beep test? Well, it's pretty obvious. None of them are gonna last three minutes. All of them are gonna last over that three, two to three minute mark. Uh, so it's gonna be your aerobic system. But it's right at the high end of your aerobic system, just about into your lactic, because you are all out effort um, uh, during these tests. So um, how do you train for these? Well, I've drawn up a little graph for you guys. Beautiful drawing here, and it's backwards because of the camera. But, so this is an example of three different people, okay? One, two, and three. So this top end line here are the people's uh, maximum speed, so the fastest they can run at top speed. Now this line here dictates when the energy system from aerobic, which is the, uh, the shaded area, changes into anaerobic, and that's called your aerobic threshold. Uh, yeah, that's called your aerobic threshold. So obviously if they go from the aerobic into the anaerobic, which will be your lactic acid system, they won't be able to last too long. You know, once it hits that three minutes mark, they're gonna go back down to the aerobic system because the, uh, they'll just fatigue too much. Okay, so from out of those three people, who do you think will win in a 2.4 kilometer race? All right, the answer is, they're all probably gonna end up at the same time. The reason, even though 
this guy is a hell of a lot slower than this guy at top speed, all of them have got around about the same lactic, uh, sorry, the same aerobic threshold. So the same point at which they change from aerobic system to the lactic acid system. So they are all going to fatigue at around about the same point. So they're gonna end up around about the same time. So how do we improve these, these, uh, this lot of uh, test scores? So each person is different. Now we're gonna start with number two here. So number two, compared to his top end speed, he's got pretty good uh, aerobic threshold. So what he needs to do, or her, what they need to do is improve their top end speed. So to pr uh, improve your top end speed, you need to be working in your uh, alactic system. So in that 10 to 15 second mark and working on, to uh, on absolute speed. So here's the difference between training for a 2.4 and a beat test. So the 2.4, the training that you need to do is at that very top end speed. So the fastest you can run after a rolling start over say a 100 meter sprint. On the beep test, you need to work your acceleration. So the speed at which you pick up speed. Okay, the reason for this is, say this guy in a 2.4 test, you increase his, uh, his top speed, all right? All of a sudden, that aerobic threshold where he starts to fatigue, right here, it's about 75%. If he increases his maximum speed, now that aerobic threshold is all of a sudden down to say 65%. So he's probably gonna be able to go that little bit harder for a little bit longer. So an example to uh, improve uh, your top end speed. So you do 100 meter rolling start sprints. So with that, I mean, you don't waste your effort to pick up speed at the start. You just slowly pick up speed around about the 50, 60 meter mark. You are all, all out um, and like top it, all out sprint right until the end of the 100 meter. Okay, you rest at the end, turn around, walk back to the start, nice big rest. Do that for around about uh, six intervals. If you start to fatigue, if you start to feel your speed slow down, then that's you done because you need to work right at that top end speed. Okay, so that's for someone that's working for a 2.4 uh, K run. Now on the other end, if someone's working for a, um, a beat test, you need to be working your acceleration because it doesn't matter how, how much top end speed you've got in the beat test, you know, it's, you're not gonna get to that speed. Each turn, if you're faster, if you improve your speed on each turn, you're gonna be putting in less effort during each turn, so that'll probably result in you fatiguing later and ended up with a better score. So ways you can improve this, you need to work with resistance. And resistance can be in the form of a hill. So you, what you wanna do is go to a decent hill, mark out say 20 to 30 meters, start at the bottom, and you are starting and going as hard and as fast as you can up that hill until you hit your marker, have a bit of a rest, turn around, back down to the bottom. Again, do that for around about six intervals, and if you start to fatigue, then you need to cut it away, because it has to be all out efforts. If, it's, if you start to fatigue, then it's not gonna do anything for your speed. All right, so that's for number two. That's for that guy there, increasing his, his uh, top end speed, which will overall improve his performance. Now this guy here, He's got a massive amount of top end speed, so we don't really need to work that too much. We need to work his aerobic threshold. So to do that, you need to work short intervals at a high, at a high aerobic intensity. So you wanna be at the top end of that aerobic system, tipping into your uh, anaerobic system. So that'll be around about 110 to 120% of your beat test speed or your uh, 2.4. So you wanna be doing that for uh, short intervals, short rest, and you know, uh, repeat it over a couple of, a couple of uh, sets. So an example of this would be 15 seconds on at 120% of uh, your, your uh, 2.4 speed or your beep test speed. 
15 seconds rest and repeat that for 10, 10 rounds. Okay, do that twice a week and you'll see massive improvements. All right, so that's that guy try to improve his uh, aerobic threshold level because he's already got that top end speed. All right, doesn't matter which one they are, all of them need to work <clears throat> their aerobic capacity as well, their aerobic system just in that low end. So with that, you're gonna be doing 30 to 60 minutes of low intensity aerobic work. So say you go for a 30 minute, 30 to 40 minute um, low intensity, so steady state uh, aerobic run. So just nice and easy, you should finish it, um, not feeling like completely fatigued, you feel like you can go a little bit further, that means you'll be working in, that right, uh, in the right zone. Okay, with these guys, no matter which one you are, you need to be working all three aspects. So your speed, your threshold, and your low aerobic stuff. It just depending on which one you are is going to be your main focus of your training. So the, the dominant part of your training. All right, so that's it. Um, just to run over that sort of, run over all that again. During your 2.4 and your beep test, the dominant energy system is your aerobic system because it lasts over that three minute mark. Now the difference between the 2.4, the difference between training for the 2.4 and the beep test is that speed training. 2.4, you're training your top end speed. Whereas your beep test, you're training that low end acceleration speed all right but no matter who you are you're going to be training your speed you're going to be training your uh, aerobic threshold and you're going to be doing that low end aerobic stuff all right guys nice quick one today so hope you all like it if you do like it give it a big thumbs up so i know people are watching this and they're actually liking it um, i'll keep posting these up every week and it all depends on what I'm doing, whether it's gonna be a live or a pre-recorded one like this. That's it, uh, train hard, train smart. I'll see you next time.